Here we have a 2001 BMW 320i in blue. The car is in very nice condition for its age and it's good of car for the value. Looking at the offside front tyre first, looking at a good 4 to 5 millimetres of tread there. Offside front alloy does appear to be in nice condition. One or two light little scratches here and there, but no sign of any curbing or any scuffs to the alloy. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look at the bodywork. Looking for any small dents or dinks. There is one or two sm uh, slight dinks on the rear passenger door. Apart from that, nothing serious there to the bodywork. Bit of a scuff on the arch here. It's slightly, slightly dinked in as well um, on the offside front arch there. And again, it looks like it's been painted over. Moving around to the front, um, looking at the ring mirror, it has got a couple of stone chips, so it's going to require some touchings there. Looking at your driver's door, there is some light scratches and marks below the driver's door itself, so it could do with a good polish. You see a bit of rust appearing there as well, so it could do with a bit of paint there. Apart from that, it does look okay for its age. One or two light scratches require polish. Door edge looks very, uh, very well, with no chips at all there. Both the sills are in nice condition as well. And there doesn't appear to be any dinks or any dents to the roof. Rear passenger door also in nice condition, just one or two light scratches. Bit of paint starting to bubble around the arch, again that just comes with the age of the vehicle, you can see starting to rust as well. Some there, and also some at the back of the arch there as well. Offside rear quarter appears to be nice and clean. And look at the rear tyre. We're looking at around 2 to 3 mil there, not a great deal amount of tread. And the offside rear alloy. Does appear to be in nice condition again, just one or two light little scratches and marks, no real sign of any curving, so very clean there. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle, as you can see, got your parking sensors on the back there. Also, it looks like a tow bar fitment sort of thing there. Also, some scratches and marks, and also some touchings required to the rear tailgate here. Again, nice condition, no serious damage by the looks of things. Take a look inside the boot. Nice clean condition as you can see, and if we take a look underneath here we can see there's no sign of any spare wheel, um, looks like a tow bar in there, yeah so you've got a tow bar in there as well, moving around to the near side rear tyre, again we're looking at around 3mm of tread, and the near side rear alloy also in good condition, couple of scratches here and there but no curbing or any scuff marks at all. A couple of like little scratches, there's a slight, um, I don't know if that's a slight little dink there on the rear or if that's part of the bodywork. Uh, a couple of scratches again, the rear door edge is fine, front door edge is fine and one or two light like, scratches to the paintwork. Bit of a mark there on the mirror and the front side will look at a good 3 to 4 mil of tread. And the near side front alloy, one or two light little scuffs around the edge there, but once again nice condition for the vehicle's age. We've run to the front of the vehicle, one or two light stone chips. No real sign of any damage at all to the front bumper. Does look very well. So some touchings required to the front bumper. Probably could do with a new badge, that's starting to fade a little bit. And one or two stone chips to the bonnet. Take a look inside the vehicle. We have got the full grey leather interior. It's a bit dirty, it's a bit worn again, that just comes with age. It's quite an old car now. As you can see it's a little bit worn to leather. No real sign of any damage though. And again, for its age, it does look very well. Looking at your driver's seat and front passenger. Also not bad condition, slight bit of wearing there to the bolster. No sign of any damage though. And again, same with the front passenger seat as well. Dashboard etc is relatively tidy. Steering wheel's in good condition as well. And separate inside the vehicle itself, we do have two sets of keys with the vehicle, which is spot on. And just getting the car started. To start first time, no issues at all there. Mileage, very low for its age, 97,887, and no symbols appearing on the dash. Multifunction steering wheel, you can see you've got cruise control there as well. Radio and CD. Radio works perfectly fine, no issues at all there. You can see all the lights indicating there, they're on and off. The aircon does work, it does come out nice and cold, but there is a slight issue with the blowers. Uh, it doesn't really seem to... Uh, to turn on like where it says it is on the meter there so we're quite high up now and it's not coming out that fast um, but again it does come it does work and the aircon does come out nice and cold as well so no real issues there to be honest automatic transmission 
taking a quick look at the documents, looking at the V5, the car's had six owners. It does come with an MOT, which here June 28th, 2015, which is spot on. And we have only got partial history. We've got 13 there, 20, 29, 35, and your last one at 40, unfortunately. So not the greatest deal of service history there. The car does seem to run fine, though, so that's great. Now, this is 2001 BMW 320i SE. It's an automatic, and you've got the full leather as well, and also the air conditioning. Nice-looking car for its age.